Imagine this, you are approaching the door of a business and notice that someone is walking in close proximity behind you. They're going to enter the same establishment that you are. Therefore, you politely hold open the door to let them in before you. Now imagine that as the people are entering the building, they don't say thank you or even acknowledge your kind gesture. They don't even acknowledge your existence. How would that make you feel? I would venture to say that that rude behavior from that person walking into the building might surprise you. It may disappoint you or even anger you. But would you believe me if I told you that not feeling grateful may be hurting them in the long run, possibly even more than you? Adopting a mentality of gratitude can help you live a happier and healthier life. Stay with me. I will help you live a longer life through gratitude. Welcome to The Gentleman's Club. I'm your host, Juan Sepulveda. In this show, we try to help every man become a better man today. And today, we're doing so by talking about the importance of gratitude and the effect it has in your life. One of the early lessons we receive from our parents, hopefully, is to say please and thank you. When we say please, we're politely requesting something from someone else. And when we say thank you, we express our gratitude for the fulfillment of said request. You'll probably agree that the moments in which you express your gratitude towards someone else, you're creating a pleasant experience for them, right? Thus, you're encouraging them to extend that kindness to you again in the future, if needed. Of course, genuine gratitude should not be accompanied with an expectation from your part. Instead, it should reflect your acknowledgement that you are the benefactor of someone else's efforts and that you are not taking those for granted. On the other hand, if you neglect to express gratitude towards people who are benefiting you through their actions, not only might you discourage them from extending you their assistance in the future, but you might be discouraging them from being charitable towards others in the future. And you don't want that kind of guilt hanging over you. Although I reiterate that gratitude should be a selfless action on your part by being grateful, you are becoming the benefactor of such an action. The benefits of adopting an attitude of gratitude are not limited to mental and emotional ones. There are physical health benefits. According to Dr. Lisa Aspinwall, PhD, a psychology professor at the University of Utah, people who adopt a more optimistic attitude like gratitude can have a stronger immune system. A study led by Dr. Aspinwall compared the number of blood cells which directly protect the immune system between optimistic and grateful students and their pessimistic counterparts. The result of the study suggested that the immune system of the more optimistic students was stronger than that of the pessimistic group. I love this quote by Epictetus who says, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Epictetus. By the way, this quote reminds me that we recently published an episode in the Gentleman's Brotherhood about Stoic philosophy. I definitely encourage you to go check it out if you can. Add it to your queue of episodes and let me know what you think of it later on. Now we move on to counting your blessings. Robert A. Emmons and Michael E. McCullum of the University of California, Davis, and the University of Miami, respectively, conducted an experiment in 2003 where they observed three groups of participants. Emmons and McCullough assigned one group to keep a daily journal of the things for which they were very grateful. The second group kept track of daily annoyances while the third group wrote neutral observations and social comparisons. The results were surprising to say the least, as they revealed that those who kept a gratitude journal reported significantly more overall satisfaction with their life. They felt more optimistic about the future and felt more connected than their peers in the control groups. This program is made possible in part by the Gentleman's Brotherhood Store. 
featuring an exclusive line of apparel designed to not only look good, but to spread a most needed message. We invite you to look at our growing collection and support our brotherhood through your purchase. For details, go to thegentlemansbrotherhood.com. Additional benefits recorded in the experiment as a result of having a gratitude journal was an increase in exercise pattern, an overall decrease in physical ailments. These are just two studies from many more that I found in my research. It is important to highlight that in addition to these benefits enjoyed by the more grateful subjects, the studies also found decreased levels of stress, increased emotional connection, and better sleeping pattern just by having a more grateful and positive outlook in life. I'm going to share links to some of these studies with you in the show notes. In conclusion, the next time that you open the door only to be completely ignored, remember that they are paying the price for their rudeness by not being grateful. Take moments like that as reminders to adopt an attitude of gratitude. In the process of this brief presentation, I have shared with you a way in which you can reduce stress in your life, help you sleep better, improve your immune system, increase your emotional well-being, and improve your existing relationships. Oh my God! Wow! Therefore, in the spirit of gratitude, I think there's only one more thing left for me to say from the bottom of my heart. You're welcome. Now, I would like to hear from you. In the comments section of this episode, let us know what kind of gestures or words do you prefer when someone does something nice for you, like opening a door? How do you normally feel when you open the door from so, for someone and they act as if you don't even exist? I look forward to reading your responses in the comments section. Also, in the spirit of gratitude, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our new supporters on Patreon. Since our last episode, we've had some new supporters come in and they're enjoying some of the perks that come with being a member of our Patreon.com campaign. You could be one of them, help this show move forward and reach more people, hopefully people that need to learn these kinds of things and adopt a life that is going to be more optimistic and more, uh, more influential. So if you like what we do and you want to be a part of this exclusive community, make sure to go to patreon.com slash Juan Sepulveda and sign up. And for that, I'm very grateful. Even if you just share this, click a like, subscribe, or go to our store and check it out, the gentlemansbrotherhood.com. I'm going to be grateful for that as well. I hope that you found this to be a positive experience that you've learned a little bit of something, and then you go about your day a little bit more grateful. Until next time, I wish you courage and courtesy.